Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you something real cool that just came out from the Google Store recently and it's mo it's, it's a great drink simulator. It's so it's, it's such a good news to have a drink simulator finally for the cell phones that I just can't really believe it. It's called Raycast. I don't know if you can actually see it in there there's the ring emulator and believe it or not it's a great emulator with such a great frame rate uh, even though it's in alpha state yet but it, it's able to play a lot of games with awesome frame rate and it's very playable although it's in alpha state it's such a great game it's such a great emulator so let's try it out so you first when, when you just um, start the application it's gonna uh, tell you that you should uh, you should uh, get your BIOS and your flash.bin files. There are two files, one the BIOS and another the flash. Um, in order to make it work, you just have to create a folder named DC. The emulator itself won't create a folder, so you have to do it manually. Just um, and, and inside the, the DC folder, you just create a data folder, and inside there, you just place the both uh, files. So once you place the files, the emulator will boot up just like so, and you're ready to launch the games. Uh, first, you also have, uh, if you want to save the games, if you want to save the progress of your games, uh, you want to have to configure the VMU card. So first, you just have to boot BIOS in the little star icon. The BIOS of the emulator will will boot. And you just have to go to file, uh, you know, with a with a virtual virtual controller. You just have to select it, and you have to um, delete all. I don't have to do it because I already done it. Here you can see all my save files. So um, we're just gonna close the emulator. I'm gonna beat, and we're gonna boot up some games. So I'm gonna show you how it works. Um, so um, once you got the emulator installed and the VMU uh, correctly configured, then you just want to go to the, your your custom folder where you have the files, where you, where you have the games. Um, the recommended extension of the games is CDI. So you just have to get the games somewhere in the internet, and in my case, I have an external uh, memory. Uh, in, a, in a custom folder I made it's called DC and here you can see all my games so far I have Crazy Taxi 2, Daytona 2, They're Alive, Sonic Adventures 2, Sonic Adventures 1 um, Sonic Adventures, sorry, uh, Unreal Tournament and Virtual Tennis I've also tested a couple of other games they didn't really work well so these are the best ones that work Crazy Taxi works great Daytona USA works a little slow with um, the frame rate. It's it's a little issue, but it's still playable. Uh, Their Alive works great. Sonic Adventures 2 has a great frame rate, but it has some graphic, a lot of graphic issues. You know, a lot of textures just disappear and then reappear again. So it's kind of a mess. Sonic Adventure 1 is so cool. It's one of the best games in this emulator. It works perfect almost. Then you have Unreal Tournament, which is a great step into the you know the emulation because it's a it's a pretty complex FPS and even though it's a complex FPS, um, it works really well. Uh, it has some also some graphic issues, but they are not that difficult to cope with. So it, it's really playable. I tested out only one level with one bot and it really works really well. And then you have the virtual tennis which also has some graphic issues but it's also still playable with the speed is the speed is kind of an issue but it's also still playable. So in all this list the only one that is kind of crappy to play it's Sonic Adventures 2 because it has some graphic issues and Daytona because it works kind of slow. The other games are really playable, so I'm going to show you some Sonic 1 gameplay.
As you can notice, it's really cool. You ha it's like having a Dreamcast inside your cell phone, so it's really nice. Um, we just wait a couple of seconds until the game's. There, yeah, you'll see the um, the virtual controller. We here just have to select the the TV settings, which I always select 50 hertz or whatever. <clears throat> As you can notice, it works pre really cool. Sonic Adventures One is one of the best games um, in the emulator. Here you can see it's a uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 with a Mickey Mouse cover, that's pretty cool. Let's get him. I hope the guys who develop this emulator will keep on upgrading the emulator because this is such a great software. So cool. Look at this, it's like Dreamcast, it's fucking awesome. As you can notice, Sonic has some problems in his eyes, the textures of his eyes are pretty fucked up, but the game overall, the, the overall look of the game is really nice. There you can see some popping up. Here's the analog stick, so you should just use it to control Sonic. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the first level, the Emerald, the, the legendary Emerald Coast. It's kind of a pain in the ass having to play the game while recording, so... This is so cool. The Dreamcast is one of my favorite consoles of all time. And being able to play it in, in my cell phone, it's, it's a big deal for me. So, so cool. Just almost unbelievable. Okay, as you can notice, it works really nice. For the sake of the video, um, so that it doesn't get really large, I'm gonna show you one one last game, so you can notice the real power of this emulator so far. Um, let's see, I'm gonna show you some real cool game. Um, I'm gonna show you a real tournament because it's one of my favorite. Uh, FPS out there, along with Quake Free, obviously Counter Strike, and yeah, a real turn and Doom, Doom Quake, a real tournament and Quake are one of my best, and the most favorite sagas of FPS. So I'm gonna show you the guys this one. As you can notice, the the menu is. It's really smooth. It works very really nice. I'm gonna show you just uh, a little demonstration. Oh. I'm gonna bring up, bring down the bots to one. Because I don't have a lot of battery. Probably if, if I add more bots, the 
the overall performance will decrease so sorry about that guys so here we are again um, I'm gonna show you on real tournament uh, okay so as you can see the frame rate is really nice the gameplay is pretty tricky I remember playing this game back in the day with the Dreamcast and the controls were pain in the ass so imagine how is it to play it and uh, in a cell phone so it's, it's, it's pretty tricky but the game as you can see the frame rate and all the graphics look pretty great um, the only downside of, the, of this um, of the game is that the water itself it's kind of glitchy you know that the water kind of disappears and it appears again but overall it's a great version it, I, I, I mean it's, it's a great um, the emulator managed to play the game real well fuck um, well this is a real tournament as you can see the gameplay is pretty tricky but the game itself works Pretty, pretty great so um, I hope you liked it and see you in the next video